How's it going webheads and welcome to my video where I will be getting a platinum trophy for Spider-Man and if you watch my video you'll see exactly how I do this and maybe you'll even laugh. I promise nothing and I'm going to start this game off with the big bad guy himself and emphasis on the big. So big kingpin himself doesn't go down without a fight and the man must have been training in sumo wrestling because he does not disappoint in this fight. So after having a smash in time Willie decides to just hang around for a while. He got all wrapped up in his situation and he got arrested by the police. I'm sorry I couldn't help myself. And this unlocks our first trophy, knocking down the kingpin. We get to meet Peter's employer then, Dr. Squid. Peter left all his random shite in backpacks all over the city. I then got the next trophy by collecting five random backpacks and getting the junk out of them. We then come across one of the rarest things you will ever see in your life, an adult trick-or-treater. Spider-Man likes the guy's mask so much he decides to take it and see if it's authentic. He brings it to a man then called Mr. Lee. He might be important later on. And then after a long fight with Shocker, we decide to drop the world and show him what it's like. Once he's trapped under the world then, there is no escape from him and he's back to prison. And after that whole fiasco, I unlocked the next trophy. Shock and awe. And then I swing straight into the next trophy. I then got to meet a man who has the same name as the other Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And then I prove how much of a smarty pants I am and get the next trophy. After finding a clue left behind by a master thief, I then acquired the next trophy. The next trophy I got, I wasn't expecting at all and I had to look up what it was and I just laughed. Spider-Man, Pigeon Scarer. A bunch of mad lads decided it'd be funny to steal a helicopter and ride it around. And they also decided to put a wrecking ball on the end of it. Spidey manages to catch up with them and it looks like they're late for a Halloween party. Spidey decided to be friendly and just drop off the helicopter for them, landing it somewhere completely safe. And he does this all in style. And this is where I got introduced to Miles Morales. He is the son of the cop we met. Speaking of which, he actually gets a medal from the mayor and he gets the medal for absolutely destroying a truck. The fellow with the vest was the man driving the truck, I think. Davis pulls an absolute boss move and protects everyone. And it looks like Mr. Lee was there and the man behind all the bombings. And then after all that, I bagged the next trophy. Demons emerging. Spider-Man then finds out that all the demons are having a massive rager and he's not invited. So he tries to find out where the party's going down and what they're bringing. So he finds out where it is and he decides he's just going to go crash it. And that's another trophy added to the collection. And it looks like a new character has entered the game. And to be fair, they do make one of the coolest entrances in the game. So after being shown up, I decide to see if I can find some inner peace. And I never find the inner piece that I was looking for but I do manage to find Martin Lee's very secret room and we find his Halloween costume. Martin then tries to make Peter feel ashamed for his political opinion. For shame Martin. Peter then decides to take his mind off a lot of stuff and go back to work. Where he works it seems like they're all hands in there and this is where we find out that the doctor man has a very bad disease and the name of that disease is called Butterfingers. We then go see what Mary Jane wants to tell us about what she did all day and she tells us that she snuck in to a biker base ran by an indestructible giant albino man. We then go rescue a man from the demons and while rescuing him I got the next trophy. We then get a video request to audition for a new TV show and they put trials all over the city for us to do and we ace the first test which gives us a new trophy. After that then I got invited to a comic con. Mine was the best costume there even though Martin tried to upstage me. After leaving I try to find this new thing called devil's breath. After finding out nothing we decide to ask Mary Jane to go see if she can find the fellow we saved. She finds him and then talk. Peter's boss then calls him back into work to see if he can help him around the lab. He then asks Peter to help him with one small thing. He asks him to help him with his VR headset and after that's done then the scientist tries his new VR headset on robotic arms to try and teach them something. And what does a genius scientist teach robotic arms? He teaches them how to juggle. But forget about that. Spider-Man finally meets Miles Morales and after this epic moment we get to see the devil's breath finally. Anyone else thinks it looks like an energy drink and as it's being trapped transported. Mr. Lee decides he likes the look of the energy drink and he wants it. He found the biggest guy he could to go and steal it from. But Spidey don't like people that steal. He goes and tries to get it back off Lee. But Lee won't give it up without a fight and he asks Spider-Man to change his mask into one of his. But Spidey says no I don't change my mask for nobody and just hurls it back at him. After crashing that massive behemoth of a ride they got away with the energy drink. Mary Jane then tries to get a train out of town. But unfortunately for her she runs into Mr. 
Mr. Positive and he decides to make a bomb out of Devil's Breath but Mary Jane is too smart for him and she disarms it and after she does that and the hostages get cleared out Spidey shows up because he's late for his train and it turns out that Mr. Negative is on the same train as him and after they have a polite and civil conversation Mr. Negative is then given up to the police and once Mr. Lee is securely put away they secure the Devil's Breath and just make sure no one gets it again or will they? Why we're out on patrol as Spidey he comes across a crime and the names may sound familiar it's GTA. We then find out that the doc was playing far too much VR and it's after affecting him in other ways but unbeknownst to me he decided to give himself a couple of upgrades and the upgrades he decided to give himself were four extra tentacle arms and they look fucking awesome. He won't be dropping anything anymore. Devil's Breath then is once again stolen I'm telling you these lads can't even hang on to a cold and then to make matters worse there's actually a breakout at the prison that we have to go stop and that's only the tip of the iceberg as well because then some of the super baddies are released and we have to convince them just to go back to their cells and the first big baddie we get to meet is none other than Jamie Fox. I mean Electro, the scary hippo, scorpion, the old bird, monochrome and Dr. Squid. Together they make the silly six and I get the trophy that's related to them. Dr. Octavius then releases a giant red fart known as Devil's Breath in Times Square scaring everyone away. We then see Aunt May clean her nose after a nosebleed. One of the trophies in the game is to do side missions so I decided to do one of them here and after kicking everyone in the face and rescuing some hostages the side mission was complete. Spider-Man then gets a call that the feast center is on fire and his aunt and Miles are trapped in there. I think they just had an indoor barbecue party and that's what started the fire. Nobody was manning the grill. MJ comes to the rescue though because Spider-Man's just lacking. Has nothing to do with him being crushed by a beam or nothing. They decide to have a group meeting and Spider-Man says he'll do all the hard work of course. Spidey then finds one of the super villains secret lair. Doc Ock then pulls a sneaky and tries to blow up Spider-Man but Spider-Man jumps out and lo and behold he gets caught by the old man who has a weird obsession with birds. The old pigeon then brings us to Sparky and both of them are still teamed up. It doesn't take long to clip the old geriatrics wings off and take Electro down shutting off his power. Spidey robs Electro's earpiece to see if he can order a pizza for himself. Superhero in his hungry work so he decides he doesn't want the pizza and he's just gonna go take a nap instead and once he wakes up then he's fresh masked fresh webbed and ready to go and I added a new trophy. Spidey then meets the tail end of Scorpion. Spidey becomes high as a kite then. He avoids the jello to go make an antidote. After hunting a cyborg pigeon I got a new trophy. May then is getting worse and has to take a seat after her own words were used against her. I then go to another tag team match of the rhino and the big scary green man Scorpion. The thing he fires at Spider-Man looks like a big glob of just snot. Does anyone else think this is bullshit? Him just back to me. I got my revenge though by knocking him clean out and then working on Scorpion. Scorpion was a lot easier to take down. Some people just can't take a foot to the face. The two of them then start bickering like an old married couple. Once they're both in the container I decided to lock them up until they started getting along again. They never do. And this brings me to my next trophy. Describes them well. MJ ups her arsenal by getting an electric pew pew. She gets into Norm's elevator and nearly gets caught and she decides to take a big deep sigh of relief. She finds Norman's silly Lego set. She takes a really close look at it and sees that it has very important information that she so happened to need. She then goes to see if she can find her Instagram account. She's not able to check that but she does find out why Martin Lee has such a big problem with Norman. It's cause he recorded him. MJ takes a leap of faith like she's in Assassin's Creed but Spider-Man catches her just in time and it looks like MJ has her own passenger. Silver Sable calls a pact with Spider-Man and she goes and holds off all the demony boys. We interrupt Mr. Negative giving Norman a brand. Just as he's about to finish the brand Spider Spider-Man interrupts and decides that he wants one too. Martin says no and he eats Spider-Man out a window and does one of his other special powers of slow motion jumping out a window and then a fight incurs and Spider-Man comes out on top by giving him a good old kick to the face. After knocking Martin out, his henchmen drop and it unlocks the next trophy. We get the anti-serum from Martin but we don't have it for long when Dr. Octopus comes around and takes it off us and takes Norman as hostage. We then get to see Miles helping out as much as he can and then he gets bit by a spider. I decided to upgrade some of my gadgets and this led to me getting a brand new trophy and I also decided to give myself some brand new skills with a Z and we get one of the most badass reveals of a suit up of a brand new costume with such a 
cool name for it as well. The anti-ox suit. The white one is cooler though. Norman pisses off Octavius with his opinions on stuff. So he decides to drop him. But before Norman can go splat, Spider-Man comes out of nowhere and just saves him. And he does not set him down gently. He just kind of throws him on top of a roof. And then we get to see the spectacular Spider-Man's spectacular dodging, which gives us the sensible trophy. The two men then share compliments to one another. One saying nice suit and the other saying nice arms. Doc changes his mind and he gets mad that he copied him. Things take a turn for the worst after that and Spider-Man rips off one of the Doc's arms after he stabs him through the shoulder. Spider-Man then lets Dr. Octavius fall a bit before he realizes he needs to go after him and get the anti-serum back. And Dr. Octavius then tries to gaslight Spider-Man. This is where May says she knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man all along. And I think this scene alone proves why Spider-Man is one of the best superheroes and also the most unlucky superhero. Everyone gets the vaccine and after this we get a little surprise of our own where we and Peter find out that Miles is now a Spider-Man and Miles finds out that Peter is also a Spider-Man but we already knew that one and we move on from that to see what Norman has done with Harry his child. Norman is just being sad there and some weird black licorice thing is then trying to touch him and this gives us our final story trophy. I decided to do another Taskmaster challenge where Spidey gets to throw hands giving us a trophy. I make things worse for Big Willy but also get myself a trophy. I then decided to reveal the whole map and this gave me another trophy this car ran a red light and that's a no-no so spidey decides to stop it and that unlocks a new trophy the lads in the car weren't too happy about this this fella here wanted us to play hide and seek by going around and finding all the different people that he knows and after winning the game of hide and seek by finding all the people he gets a reward a trophy the next thing i decided to take on was taking on bases that looked like something from fallout 4 but that doesn't matter because we got our next trophy after proving how sneaky i am i got a new trophy after beating all the criminals in new york it unlocks a new trophy if you blink you'd nearly miss this trophy i was actually just collecting backpacks and this trophy managed to pop when i got up there i actually had no idea this is one of the trophies after taking an ungodly amount of photos i felt like a real new yorker getting this trophy decided to make my own story of the humpty dumpty tale which i got a trophy for decided to get rid of mr negative's last few bases letting me acquire a trophy we get to see what a c tier villain looks like spider-man says no to drugs but what he actually does he makes an antidote for the big fella himself tombstone and doing this gives us more than one trophy after collecting 12 little toy cats that were left behind by a master thief we get yet another new suit and a new trophy fun fact this is what your grandparents think you do to fix their router the only difference here is I bagged a new trophy, destroying their base and getting a new trophy. They're going to be mad. Only had a few more challenges from the Taskmaster. I get a new trophy and I finally get to meet the man himself and prove that he's not as good as a fighter as he thinks he is. After beating him, he insults me by calling me poor and then leaving. With style though, he does leave behind a new trophy for me, proving that I'm better. We were given a task by Lee to collect all his wife's pigeons and given us a trophy. And now I got another trophy for all backpacks. Then I say hello to Uncle Ben and we got our next trophy. Clearing out all the gangs in New York City gave me another trophy and once again I decide to prove how smart I actually am and solve all the puzzles left in Otto's lab giving me a trophy. Then I max out all the skills I could acquiring another trophy. I then enter a competition to do as many tricks as I can and I won because I got a trophy for it. I then get two new trophies for getting all the suits. We then get an easy trophy. I then go around to see how popular Spider-Man actually is getting one more trophy and getting that trophy unlock the final plan platinum trophy and that's the end of the video i hope everyone enjoyed thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one